Yeah, oh. I miss that. <laughs> Ours is all covered with snow. snow. Should have brought us yeah. yeah. vodka instead of bacon this morning. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Um, it's Friday, and in addition to top plays, that means we do a not top play, right? We're going to do that at the end of the uh, 9 a.m. Yeah. 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 Coffee. I love that that family's name is Ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's perfect. Because that's what they do. And it's appropriate. How'd you like to be their neighbor, though? It looked like the houses were close together. You had a dribbling basketball all, all the time, all day, time. all yeah. night. Yeah. Huh? Sitting in there trying to get your Sudoku done, and you just yeah. got that ball out there. <laughs> you got to practice, right? You got to get to it's that. True. You got to well, practice. Look, look what happens. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of which, let's show you what he did last. And I would take the Fleetwood Mac album, yeah, 100%. the signed album cover. You know who's a gift? Bill Walton. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Keeps on giving. Uh, sure. On this date six years ago, Kimba Walker knocked down a step back jumper at the buzzer to defeat Pitt and help UConn advance the Big East semifinals. Also a gift. Mm -hmm. Also, I can't believe it's been six years. Here's a look back now at Cardiac Kemba's big shot. It's already with us on SportsCenter AM this morning. So we've seen it uh, with Russell Westbrook playing at his absolute best and maybe getting just a little bit of help mm -hmm. from his teammates. We, we've seen that they are capable of beating any team. But is this something that could be sustainable over a seven-game series and potentially upseating somebody there in the West? I think it would be very difficult. 9 a.m. here on the East Coast as we welcome you into a fresh edition of SportsCenter AM. Jamie, this was posted on Jimmy Garoppolo's Instagram account just around 4 a.m. this morning on the East Coast, and it had everyone a buzz overnight giving his farewell to New England? Uh, yeah, except it, he wasn't, apparently. It appears he was hacked, and for more on this crazy story, we send it over to Jay. All right, Jamie, thank you much. I'm here with uh, Adam Schefter. Hello, uh, Gate, I guess you might call it, Ryan Rosilla. And you've spent a lot of time in the Boston area, but I I'm curious your reaction to the story, not only what we saw this morning, but just kind of the, the age of free agency right now with social media and, and kind of that whole dynamic. Well, there's three theories when I saw this. The first theory was a thousand beers and one friend. A huge surprise. <laughs> My theory on why it's not down, whoever hacked it probably changed the password. So there you go. Right? You would know on Instagram. <laughs> I thought you were going to say I spent a lot of time on it because I don't. Uh, yeah. Well, you, you have a, a pretty strong Instagram following. All right. Um, <laughs> much more <laughs> on NFL free agency. We send it over to Jay and Randy. All right, we're getting the crew assembled. Giving. So, okay, what are we to take away from that about Dave Pash? Is he anti-environment, anti-children? Pac-12. There was a lot of insinuation. He's anti, it sounds like he it. He sounds just anti. Just anti. But not anti-Fleetwood Mac. No, no, and not anti-Bill Walton, although maybe, maybe he is. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Mm -hmm. mm. Good to have co-host of The Six, Michael Smith, with us. Um, Morning. <laughs> yeah. Feel good Friday. Okay. All right, we've been talking about this all morning, and I don't know how much you're going to divulge. Y'all have y'all given away anything? No, no, we no, not no, a thing. no, no. We Lips just okay. said okay. there's something coming up, right? Because yep. so, y'all a big part of this. Yeah, yeah. You, you, we've done. We're a part. We right. just saw all the, the, the spoofs. You, what you going to tell us about the latest one? Spider Scoop Gang. It's like yes, up did. there. The Patriots will never allow a player, even if you're trading him somewhere else, to announce via social media At that he's 4 out. And he's certainly yeah. not going to say peace out, Boston. No. Some publicists going to write a better caption than that. So it's, it's 